few days back, I made a video where I mentioned the fact that there are way too many scholarships to study in South Korea, but that the question is how many students are willing to put in the effort that is required to enable them get a scholarship that will help them study in this beautiful country of South Korea. And that video was on the King's Scholarship at Kyompok National University in Daegu, South Korea. A link to that video will be down in the description section of this video. But today we will be looking at another opportunity for you to still study in Daegu, South Korea. And that will be the Daegu Gyeongbok Institute of Science and Technology. They also have a DG's graduate scholarship. First, we will begin by looking at the government scholarship. I guess everybody already knows the government scholarship. That is the GK scholarship, the Global Korean Government Scholarship. So we are not going to talk too much about the Global Korea Scholarship, but know that DG's is part of the universities that falls under the global korea scholarship and these are the scholarship benefits the next one that we are going to look at is the dg scholarship for students itself so it says here students with a scholarship funded by dg's external funding source or research funds for partial coverage of their expenses note it says full and partial so don't get confused. It is important to know that most universities in South Korea will either give you a full scholarship or a partial scholarship. It all depends on how willing you are to put in that effort and then get in contact with a professor and convince them that you are a suitable candidate that can get into their lab and conduct research because it is important to know that South Korea is a very research intensive university. So science university professors are always in search of students who can get into their labs and conduct research and they will pay them for their research work. That being said, it is important to know that there is the DG scholarship and these are the benefits. But note that here, the area on housing is not covered by the university. You would have to sort that out by yourself, but these is the total amount that is allocated for both master of science and phd students who will be studying at the university they would equally pay you a monthly allowance there is also a general scholarship funded by other organizations or companies that will pay your tuition fee for you to study at the university i will make another video where i will list some scholarships and universities that are covered under that scholarship which means you can apply to gain admission into that university and then when the application period for you to get a scholarship opens you can then apply and then provide the admission letter from that university to the organization indicating to them that you've acquired admission but you would like them to fund your studies i'll provide another video on that some of those videos are already on my channel like postco scholarship i'll provide a link down in the description so you can go ahead and look at that video so this one where it says funded by company and institution this is partly the type of scholarship that is funded by postco and other scholarship organizations like kf foundation that is the korea foundation there is also koika there are a whole list of them on my channel you can go through my channel and you will find many of those scholarships opportunities. Before we continue with the video, please, if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and also check out the channel for many videos that are available on the channel. And also do not forget to follow me on Facebook because I do post many scholarship opportunities on Facebook as you can see here and also on Instagram. So if you don't want to miss out on those scholarship opportunities, make sure you follow me on Facebook. And also I have a group, it's called the Scholarships in South Korea, fully funded scholarship group. It has almost 10,000 members by now. Make sure you follow that group because I do post a lot of opportunities on the group that I don't usually post on other groups. Actually, there are two groups that are managed by me. There is this other group called Scholarship World. I do post scholarships that have nothing to do with South Korea here on this group also. So make sure you follow the group so that you would always be informed about scholarship opportunities in South Korea and in other parts of the world. Let's continue with the video. It is important for you to know that DG's graduate school admission guideline is up and you can begin getting your documents ready to apply for admission into the university and also apply for a scholarship. They have four rounds of application for the year 2024 so for spring admission they have round one round two and then round three 
and then for fall they have round one here which will begin from april 18 to may the second if you want to study in fall in south korea then get ready to apply from the 18th of may 2024 for these ones you can then just assume that as it is here you can see the date says spring 2024 this one has already passed so you can still work with these dates from june to july september to september november to november ending you can assume now that for you to study at Daegu gyeongbuk institute of science and technology the first second and third round of admission will begin in this 2024 from july september and then november so if you cannot meet up with this deadline for fall admission then you can prepare for spring admission 2025 following these months same thing will be applicable for document screening and results interview and final result but for this video we are focused on the fall admission for the departments and program it is important to note that these are the departments that are available there is another document that goes into details about the different departments and majors so it's very important that you read those documents there is no way you would succeed in any scholarship without reading the application guideline documents and also make sure you read the eligibility criteria. for required application documents it is important to take note of this information there is type a required documents and note that the application is also done online and also there is type b application document i'll provide a link to this document so that you can go ahead and read them and also for english proficiency it is important to note that if your studies were carried out in English you can then submit a document that proves that your studies were done at the undergraduate level or graduate level in English and you would be able to waive the English proficiency also it is important to take note on the fact that you would have to merge the documents that you are applying with so it says here C and B must be merged so it's important that you you take into account type C and type B documents that must be merged together. And for letters of recommendation, they have provided an email here where the letters of recommendations must be sent by your recommender. And also, unfortunately, there is an application fee, but this one is not that bad. It's 50,000 Korean won or $50. That being said, it is also important for you to go ahead and read the frequently asked questions like i always tell people the real reason as to why you don't succeed in getting any scholarship is because you don't take time in reading the application documents carefully so that you can follow the guidelines and then succeed that being said guys if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you do subscribe there are way too many other scholarship opportunities and this channel will also dedicate itself to explaining to you how i was able to like learn the korean language if you want to like have some tips on how to go about learning korean language right now i'm actually learning japanese language as well the human brain can learn any language if you want to learn a language it's very important for you to know that knowing korean language will really make your life easy in south korea even as far as getting a job it will make it a bit easy i'm not saying that it's easy but it will make it easy because there is no way any person will want to employ you into their company for you to work with them when you cannot communicate with them that being said if you know if you're not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you do subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye bye